working together and like living together. Those are the two things they say you don't do with your friend, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that was like, that was a big thing that we considered before like jumping into this. Cause I was like, if it's at the sake of our friendship, then I don't want it. Right. Yeah, we're done. So I think those are kind of the nods and the nudges I get from God that this is just the right place, the right people, the right thing. So. Hey friends, I'm Rosemary Lewis, your homegirl, and I'm so excited that you are here. I do not care what it looks like on Instagram or HGTV. This whole being a realtor thing is not for the faint at heart. In 2017, I quit my job as a teacher to follow my real estate dreams and quickly found myself overwhelmed and struggling. Fast forward to today. Not only have I been recognized as one of the leaders in our industry, I have actually grown a business that I absolutely love. I don't care if you're a brand new agent trying to figure out how to get started or a veteran feeling overwhelmed and just stuck. I was just like you and I totally get it. Many times I wish there was someone that I could just talk to about all the challenges I was facing. And that is why I created this space just for you. Like best friends do, I'm giving you all the tea related to navigating and thriving in these real estate streets. If I can do it, guess what? That's proof that you can too. Everything's better with friends, so let's succeed together. Welcome to the Real Estate Bestie Podcast. Well, hello there, Real Estate Besties. All right, y'all. I know that I say all the time that I am super excited for the episode, but I'm really excited today because today you are going to meet what we call the real real estate bestie. So welcome to episode number, bestie, what number is it? What'd you tell me? 134. 134. And if you have coached with us before or watched my social media, you recognize that voice because we are talking to my real life bestie, not just my real estate bestie, but real life bestie, right hand, the brains behind this brand. Kimberly, how are you? Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. I'm Kim, here. You are here. Okay. Full disclosure. So Kim and I, we, we, we're going to get into the whole story, but I literally had the thought last night, like, you know what? We're, we're gearing up for the retreat. Real estate bestie is, is picking up. There's just so many great things happening. And I'm like, we need to introduce the homies to the real real estate bestie. And in true Rosemary fashion, I sent Kim a, a voice memo and you're here. I'm here. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> well, introduce yourself to the besties. And then I think, I think we got to like walk all the way back to how we met each other, what role you play, not only in where we are now, but the inception. But before we get into all the things, just introduce yourself to the besties who may not know you. I feel like there are so many ways that I could introduce myself. <laughs> so um, <laughs> for the sake of the real estate bestie, um, I'm Kimberly Howard. I am, I mean, I think a lot of people say they're friends with Rosemary, but I really feel like, I mean, we are. <laughs> we really are. Let's see. And I guess for the sake of this, I am director of operations for Real Estate Bestie. So I am excited. I get to support Rosemary and this community by taking care of all the back end stuff. Um, yeah. And when I say back end, and I guess some of that is front end too, but it's managing podcasts and YouTube and courses and emails and event planning, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> all the so um, the and, yeah. the and, the and. Yeah. And then some more. <laughs> and then some more. Okay, so y'all, we have to back it up because Kim and I, this is a great, you know how Drake says no new friends. I'm like, Drake lied because the interesting thing is that Kim and I, we have actually tried to backtrack and we have pinpointed it to we've been knowing each other and we'll tell you that story in just a second. Oh. I've known who Kim was because it's, it's there's a discrepancy. <laughs> but I've known who Kim was for, I would say about eight, to nine years, but we really became friends. How long ago will we say? Like in the last four to five? five to it, six? it is crazy. Like somewhere between four and a half to five and a half is when we yeah. started clicking. Yeah. Um, but it feels like a lifetime. It does. It does. It does. Okay. So do you want to tell the story how we met or would you No, like I'm not going to gonna tell it because every single time you go and add and change and it's probably true 
but I'm gonna just let you tell it and um I'll add my commentary. Okay, so 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 that that that's great. So y'all, Kim and I were both at the time when I first met Kimberly Howard or what when I first saw her, I cannot say met. We both were educators. So at the time I was teaching first or second grade, we taught for the same school district and you were seventh grade math, seventh grade math. Okay. So picture this. So Kim, we both live in North Texas. And at the time, like we, we spring is, is becoming more and more diverse, but at the time it was no, nowhere near as diverse as it is now. So Kim and I attended the same church, but we go to a big church. So I probably saw her in the distance at some point. But we were doing this workout thing called Camp Gladiator. Camp Gladiator. Okay. Camp Gladiator, if you don't know, it's like, well, it don't matter what it is, but you go to like a little gym and you work out. And I went to a new location for the first time. I always went to, let's say the Frisco location. And this particular day I tried out McKinney and I'm normally the only brown girl there. Right. Which is and cool. Wait, wait, I, wait. at yes. 5 a.m. in the dark early morning okay this is why I'm going to correct you because it wasn't dark because this was actually inside because Gosh. it was raining uh-huh it was it was yep so Gosh. we were actually so it was 5 a.m I will give you that part Sleepy but it tired. was not, it was whatever it was not dark <laughs> <laughs> so y'all we are in, at this workout thing and I go, and normally I've been going for over a year. I'm the only brown girl. So y'all know black folks. Y'all know what happened when we, when you're in a space and it, and you are not well represented. And then you see another black person. It's like, okay, what? So like, y'all, I am excited because I see Kim. I see another lady. Now I'm a little intimidated because I'm lifting like an eight pound weight. They lifting 15 pounds. I am excited because I see somebody that looks like me and I'm like, yes, I want to get to know them. So the way the workout was like you were doing like either you were doing a circuit at your mat or you were running laps. So I was never doing this. Like they were definitely more fit than me. So I couldn't keep up with them. But like, let's say I'm on my mat and Kim would be running past me. I'm like, trying to make eye contact I'm waving and sister did not look at me at all is that accurate apparently <laughs> okay I cannot confirm or deny okay well what we can say is that and, and you know when somebody's trying to be friends she probably gave me like the little like see at some point she did acknowledge me but it was just kind of like eh. Like well, I feel a, like this is the first time you've told the story and said I acknowledged you I, I am I mean, so grateful right now when I, I say you. acknowledge no okay you acknowledge that you saw me. You may have smirked. You were not giving me the same energy I was giving you, for sure. I would okay? agree. But I know you saw me. That's what I'm going to say. I know yes. that you saw me. Absolutely. So anywho, I'm a little perturbed because I'm looking like, what? what what, Black Girl Magic is this? Well, we ain't even speaking, but whatever. Okay, y'all, fast forward to someday I'm on Instagram and I see Kim's profile. I click on it. I'm looking at all these Bible verses. <laughs> She's journaling about the, the joy of the Lord. I'm like, mm, how joyful is he? You ain't even say hi. hi oh to my me. gosh. <laughs> but as you can tell, we got over it. We ended up being in the same life group. And I, I'll let you pick up the story from there. Do you remember how we connected after life group? Yeah. Life group was really authentic. We shared some things during that that session. And you reached out and said, hey, I've been through something similar. You want to hang out? You want to talk? Right. And so I think we went and got coffee, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Not really coffee. Not that we drink it um, yeah. like that. But we We're got together now. from there. Like there was a common ground. I mean, I guess Camp Gladiator was common ground too. But but yes, okay. yeah. So, so it's just funny to say she, I like, I had to put my little hurt feelings to the side, invited her to coffee and, and voila. And the interesting thing about how we started working together, uh, you want to tell that part of the story? Sure. So I transitioned from teaching math to teaching like multimedia, animate, like all these digital courses, right? Uh, and then you were interested in starting a YouTube channel. And I was like, did I ever show you this video that I made to apply for this job because I wanted them to take a chance on me? I needed them to see that I could do what I would be teaching. So I showed her that video. And she was like, you're hired. Yes. Uh, so we started working together, working through doing a YouTube channel, filming video, yep. getting it out there, putting it out there every single week. 
Uh, Every so single week. how that started. Yep. Yeah. So if you scroll back, like this is 2024. We, I'm happy to say for the most part, we've consistently shown up on YouTube with exception. We took a couple breaks, like when my mom passed away and different things like that. But like y'all through the pandemic, like Kim and I would do YouTube. So if you go all the way back to 2019, like those were her first videos <laughs> and we didn't know what we were doing, but we did it. And there were so many times where I was like, oh, I'm done. Like I'm tired. She's like, nope, you're going to show up. You're going to, you know, you're going to do that. So start pushing from there. Now let's fast forward to how do we skip from being school to school teachers to now you don't work for school anymore, huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> So my husband and I own a photography business, Will Kim Photography, and you and Corey were really instrumental in coaching us through what would it look like for my husband to leave his job and be full-time photographer, full-time entrepreneur. And so that happened in 2019, 2020? 2020, 2021, 2021. I, can't, I have the worst memory, but anyway, I can tell you the day it happened, um, but it was about, to, I really can't, I mm -hmm. have a memory like that, can we were on a patio <laughs> talking, and it was the day I bought the Digital Course Academy, Okay. so so that was, that would have been in the summer of 2020, we had that conversation, and he went full-time in photography 2021. Okay, and so after that, I think that's pivotal, just because when you extended the offer to me to work with you and to work with Corey, if I didn't have that experience and that knowledge and that faith step, I don't know if I would have taken it when you offered it to me. Yeah. And so a couple of years later, you all asked me because you were both building platforms, building great things about coming on and working and managing all the things behind these brands. And yeah, um, it was the timing was, I mean, I can't awful. say that it was horrible. No, it was yeah. awful. It yeah. was awful. And, you, you know, in teacher talk, you know, you, you commit to a school year, right? And it was like right before I was supposed to go back to work for a new school year. And I was like, but I've already committed to these people. But I also knew that, like, I love y'all. I knew that, you know, the chances of getting an opportunity like this may not be the same again, you know, and if everything failed and crashed and burned, I could go back to teaching if I needed to. Yeah. And, and let me just give it to y'all from my perspective. And and I think that it's very important to say we did not hire Kim for real estate bestie. Yeah. We hired Kim because Corey and I, at the time, we had a podcast called Equal Talk with Team Lewis, which we're, we're coming back soon. We're doing some rebranding. And we were looking to do Eagle Talk and I was starting to do digital courses. And, you know, it was one of those things where I was in my quiet time one day, Kim and I had kind of toyed about the idea of her working with us. But what does that even look like, right? What right. does it look like to hire your friend? And there was so much to consider yeah. because not only like you, you don't want to hire investors, you will get to a point in business where you need support. And it's very important that you don't bring on somebody just because they're your girl or your boy, but do they actually possess the, the skill set that you're looking for? And one thing that has always been evident from the first moment that Kim and I met is I'm what we call a visionary, right? I will have all of these big ideas, but I can't even really like, I, I can kind of describe it. I can't articulate it clearly. And as I'm talking it through, Kim will be jotting something down and show it to me like, like this. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly like I get excited because that's exactly what is running around in my brain, but I couldn't put it together. So long story short, you say I say that all the time. <laughs> uh, I was in my quiet time one day and I was just praying. This was, you know, I was still thick in the grief of losing my mom and, you know, just really trying to get back to myself, get back to who I was in business. There was a time in 2022 where I was and Kim is my friend. So she was a part of these very authentic conversations where I was like, all these things that I felt God calling me to, I just don't even know what the purpose is now that my mom passed away. And I was just feeling very discouraged and working through grief. And sitting in my quiet time after one of those sessions where Kim like articulated what I was trying to say, the Lord, like I felt the Holy Spirit saying to me, hire Kim, right? Like we need to hire Kim. So first I sent a text. I'm at home. I sent a text to my husband and I was like, what do you think if we hire Kim to come on board and help with Eagle Talk? And previously I'd asked him this and he's like, first of all, how much Kim get paid? We can't afford her because <laughs> that's the whole thing. Like Kim didn't get paid $10 an hour, right? So previously he wasn't 
a fan of it and not because of Kim, but honestly to preserve the relationship. He didn't want business to get in, in, in the way of what is a beautiful friendship, not just between me and Kim, but our families. But in this moment, he was like, let's do it. Right. Because he saw like the night before he saw her articulate something that we were trying to do. So then I text Kim. Literally, it's probably what August 1st at this point. You're supposed to be yeah. back at work August 4th. <laughs> Somewhere in there. <laughs> So I sent Kim a text and say, how much do you get paid for your teaching job? And she texted me a number and I texted her a number back that was $1 more. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, if I pay you this, will you come and work with us? And again, real estate bestie was not a thing. No. And obviously Kim said, yes, here we are. And literally, probably not even a week later, I said, hey, I'm thinking about starting a podcast for the besties. Because I was already calling you. No, I didn't know what I was going to call it. Yeah. Remember, I was like, I think we should start a podcast. I'm already doing these Instagram lives. And then I was like, what should we call it? And then I was like, oh, well, when I go live on Instagram, I always say tag your real estate besties. So here we are. Yeah. Here we are. So goodness. So Kim, from your perspective though, why do we have this community? Because you are unique in the sense that you are not in real estate, but you are an integral part in us pouring into and creating this space, this retreat, this environment for our besties. Why do you think we do this? Like what's the why behind it? Yeah, I think that whether it's in real estate, whether it's in motherhood, whether it's in being a wife, I think something that we all lack, well, not all lack, but what we have seen is that people are just lacking community. There yep. are too many people who are trying to do life alone and it's hard. And so I think we have a unique thing because the community and the person who's here is a very specific woman and we yep. know exactly who she is. We talk to her every single day. And so it just makes sense to hone that, to cultivate that, to pour into that. And so we're just creating this space where these, you know, bad women in real estate get to connect. They don't have to compete. They don't have to feel like they got to measure up, but they have a space to learn and to grow and to support each other and to cheer each other on. Yeah, I love that. And, you know, you all go all the way back to episode number one of the the podcast, right? Because when I was trying to think like, what, what do we want the podcast to be? I equated it to Kimberly, like Kim is what we call my person. And then Mishla is my best friend from, which I gave Mishla a new name because Mishla and I have been friends. You'll meet her at the retreat. She will be there. Uh, we've been friends our entire life. So all of my 43 George W. Bush years, I have known Mishla and she's my frister, right? I have I have upgraded her to friend who's more like a sister because Mishla and I are not in the weeds and the thick of life every single day like Kim and I are, but there is a bond there that has just withstood every every trick that the enemy has thrown at it. And when I think about, I'm getting teary-eyed, um, what Mishla and Kim have been to me from business to, you know, to not being sure of myself to, um, you know, when things are going right, great on the outside, but on the inside, I'm hurting and I need guidance to check in me when I'm wrong, but from a place of love and encouraging me and pushing me and also telling me when to rest and when to go. I'm like, man, if, if there were more people who had access to Kim's and Mishalas, what would this world be? And that's why we're here, y'all. That's why we have Real Estate Bestie. So Kim, I thank you because you have loved me from a friend standpoint, right? Uh, I ain't gonna tell people what we say, like how we measure our love. <laughs> that, that's the inside of how we measure. Oh. <laughs> But because you and Mish have modeled truly to me what collaboration, like championing your friend, and I know I'm a lot. I know I'm a, I'm, I'm a lot to have as a friend <laughs> and you work with me. You're a part of every part of my life. But because of your example, that is why this space has been created. 
And and now you're alongside building it with me. Like I I I don't I don't believe that we get to do this and we do. Yeah. Working together and like living together. Those are the two things they say you don't do with your friend, right? Yeah. <laughs> And that was like, that was a big thing that we considered before like jumping into this. Cause I was like, if it's at the sake of our friendship, then I don't want it. Right. Yeah, we're done. So I think those are kind of the nods and the nudges I get from God that this is just the right place, the right people, the right thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and when you really think about like going back to the fact, I think about that day I was in that gym and you ignored me. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Thought we were done. Like, this is why God's ways are not our ways, right? Because I just think about, like, in my flesh, right? I I probably would have saw you the next time and kind of shaded you, you know? Um, and, and you weren't, and now that I know you, I just know that, like, you just ain't a, ain't a morning person. You focus on what you focus on, like, all these different things. But sometimes we have to step outside of ourselves. And um, it's just amazing when you take the first step when you take the first step towards what God is telling you to do as his plan unfolds, it's like, oh my gosh, like you yeah. knew that day yeah. what this will be. And I am just in awe of him. Yeah. In awe of him. And the beautiful thing, it's not about us. It's about the besties, right? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so tell them, tell them how, like tell them, and, and we're going to wrap up our time here, but let's just talk to them about retreat because you more than anybody you're living, you're breathing, you're experiencing, you're creating, you're praying, we're fasting. What what do we say that, to the bestie who's like, I want to be there and I want to explore, but they just don't know. What insight could you give them about what being a part of this bestie community will do for not just their business, but their life? So I think it's very clear that you and I are very different, right? Oh, like really? Are, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like you are the charismatic, visionary you know, all the feels, get these people in the room. I, I got this. And I am very much a, in the details, what are we walking away with? Why are we here? What's the purpose of this speaker and this session? And so I think that we have curated an experience that is going to check all the boxes of what you want and the things that you didn't even know you needed, right? Mm -hmm. um, I am very excited about the besties being able to walk away with things that they can put into action immediately. So I know that your business is going to benefit uh, because we, we have been intentional about that. I also think that nobody is going to feel alone when they're there. Um, yeah. I think just the way that we are looking at the experience, the people that are going to be in the room and just kind of the culture that we've built in the community is like, you're my bestie. You're here. We're, we, yep. we, we together. Like, you like yeah, we go together. <laughs> we go together, right? <laughs> and I have no doubt that God is going to show up. Yeah. And I'm excited about that. Yeah. I'm really excited. Um, and then there's so many people that we've met online and in the internet that we've never gotten to see face to face. And I mean, based on the, the workout story, like I'm not <laughs> the automatic people person, but I cannot wait to hug you. And so I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. And, and, and full disclosure, y'all, every day, like Kim and I are like, oh, Lord, what did we get ourselves into? Right. <laughs> because the investment of time, the um, financial investment, we're, we're definitely in a season where we, our families are being flexible with us because they know that God is calling us to, like, we want to grow your business, right? We want everything that you want, like all the things that attracted you to this platform, about the fabulous, how fabulous, you know, being a top producer, all that stuff, like all that's true. And we go give you that. But we know that all we're doing is we're setting the stage for Jesus to do something miraculous in your life. And that drives us. And um, our families know that. And they are showing us so much grace. Yeah. As we press forward. So we just wanted to take a few minutes to just really, and I thought like, what better person than Kim? <laughs> To, uh, and so thank you, Kim, because she loves the background. She is not a front round person. Right. And Kim's also going to be teaching. So if you are interested in the way, like you see the way I market, you see, you receive our emails, like Kim's going to take the stage. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's excited and, and really share just some practical things that we've learned about how to message and speak to your audience. And we're just grateful. So Kim, tell them where they go to get their tickets. Cause we're between like 10 and 15. I have to look to see who registered today. That's exciting. That is exciting. Oh my so, gosh. Exciting. <laughs> tell them where to register. Tell them where to go. Um, I mean, there's a couple of ways, right? RosemaryLewis.com forward slash retreat or realestatebestyretreat.com. Both of those will get you in the building. You just got to get the ticket. You just got to get the ticket. And, and and the theme of the retreat is you are doper than you think you are. Because like Kim said, one thing that we hear, people need community and he, like, over and over. I don't care how confident somebody shows up. All I hear people saying feeling is that I'm not good enough, right? And once we understand how dope you are, how how wonderfully and fearfully you were made in God's image, that's the game changer. And the whole retreat is going to be curated around that theme so that you go out and you use every gift. Nobody, none of our besties are going to bury their gifts, right? So we are excited. We are elated. And um, we're going to go ahead and get off this podcast so it's not an hour and a half long. <laughs> yeah. Long story short. <laughs> long story short, come to the retreat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, besties. We love you more than you know. Hit the share button, for real. If you are are thinking about it, if you got another friend that's thinking about it, if you are low, for real, if you can dial us, if you local to us, I'm just really trying to figure out what's wrong with you if you ain't gonna be there. I'm gonna let the Holy Spirit work on you though. But seriously, hit share, share this podcast and, and do this. Like reach out to your really good friend today and just say, you know what, girl, I love you. And if you don't have a relationship like this one, really come to the retreat. I know that you got a lot of people that will be there with open hearts and open minds. And we can't wait to see you there. Love you, besties. Bye. Love y'all. If you enjoyed this episode and you have a real life bestie that you think it would resonate with, y'all do me a favor, go ahead and hit that share button because you know what? We are better together. Make sure you share the podcast and I appreciate your reviews. I appreciate you giving me five stars more than you know. I'll talk to you next week.